In terms of the specifics of what is happening at Rhode Island Hospital and Hasbro Children's Hospital, three, there are three big areas where changes will be made um, involving emergency services, stroke care, and elective procedures. Those changes have been decided based on the goal to retain and maintain patient safety and quality, which has been our direction to the Rhode Island Hospital as well as Hasbro Children's Hospital. As a result, to attain that, Rhode Island Hospital's emergency department will continue to accept all walk-ins. However, EMS, emergency medical services, throughout the state will only be transporting trauma, burn, cardiac and respiratory arrest and pediatric cases to the Rhode Island Hospital and Hasbro Children Hospital's EDs. Emergency medical services will transport other patients to the other hospital's emergency departments throughout the state. Rhode Island Department of Health has been and will continue to monitor patient volumes at all of the facilities throughout the state and will revisit this policy during each day of the work stoppage throughout this week. During the work stoppage as well, emergency medical services will bring stroke patients to the nearest of Rhode Island's six primary stroke centers. Ordinarily, most severe stroke cases are transported to the Comprehensive Stroke Center at Rhode Island Hospital. Without that in place, we have been working with our hospitals that attain the, their Comprehensive Stroke Center status in our neighboring states. And finally, Rhode Island Hospital has rescheduled all elective services and all non-urgent diagnostic testing for the duration of the work stoppage this week. And they have been communicating with patients regarding those changes. We have um, evaluated and seen that the nurses that are brought in are experienced nurses. This is a company that deals with strike management. So there is um, reassurance there. We're also familiar with the staff who are still there, the providers, the physicians, the other allied health professionals who are equally as committed to patient safety and quality and have been working closely with them. And as we're going forward, we will continue to have this very close monitoring and engagement with staff from the Rhode Island Department of Health um, at the hospital sites through the shifts to help ensure that the transition of care will be and maintained at the level of quality that we all expect. There are nurse managers that are continuing in their management role in overseeing the nurses that come into play. There's been a significant amount of training that's been done for the nurses that have been brought in to help make sure that they understand the flow of activities at the hospital, where things are located, um, how to communicate information, and that's the type of assessments we'll be making when we go to the hospital. To make sure that we are fully prepared in fulfilling our role as the Department of Health, um, we have activated our own incident command system here at the department, and I really wanna thank the many team members who were here today because of the work that has been done through the weekend, both here in this room, throughout the department, and at the hospital.